what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am back with another video now today i want to talk about emotions like feeling your emotions and sitting with them and not running from them i think that's something that i have been doing lately is sitting with the emotions that arise when i am triggered and not trying to run from them usually i run from them like i go try to like work out or go do something maybe clean maybe go do something to distract my mind from the emotions that are coming up in my body and i feel this tension that's happening in this panic in my chest and like like um i don't know if you guys i've told you guys this but like i suffer from cptsd so whenever triggers come they're usually stemmed from deep-rooted wounds that have, ha have happened in my past, past trauma. You get what I'm saying? And usually I try to avoid it. I'll over like work out or I'll go running, clear my mind, I'll clean. I'll do something to distract my mind from this feeling that I'm feeling because I don't want to feel it. I'll try to meditate. But what I should be doing is sitting in it, feeling it, going into this wound, feeling the memories that are, seeing the memories that are coming up, feeling the emotions that are arising, the anger, the hurt, the sadness, whatever I'm feeling, the guilt, the shame, let them come up and sit in it. And I promise you, if you just sit in it and allow it to arise, after you've processed it, you're like, okay, then remind yourself that you're safe. Remind yourself that this is no longer happening. Remind yourself that you are okay. And allow yourself to, to process that and then hug yourself and be like, it's okay. You're going to feel so much better. I did that today. I really was triggered today by something that had triggered a certain memory or a certain thing that happened in my past and i was so angry this this rage inside me was building and rage usually stems from hurt or pain or you know not being able to defend myself in this manner so it just came up and i just oh you know and i was like i want to get out of this anger i don't like this feeling how can i get out but then i had to remind myself maribel you have to feel this emotion that's coming up. It's a wound that you need. To, your body is telling you this is a trigger. Your body is trying to remind you, sit with this. Your body is trying to let you know, hey, something is happening in your body. This is why. Let's sit with it. Let's process it. So you're not having to reprocess it every single time. Now that you've learned that this is a trigger, this is how you process it. It is much easier to process this the next time you're triggered. And it's not as harsh. You get what I'm saying? And I think that has been such a challenge for me, just trying to process all these things at once and trying to run away from them instead of actually feel them and sitting in the darkness, sitting in the, ugh, you know, like nobody likes to sit in the, in the dark. Nobody likes to sit in that wound. Nobody likes to sit in those emotions and those feelings, but you got to understand they're there for a reason. We are human, having a human experience. We are going to feel emotions. We're going to feel dark you know emotions that are coming up and sometimes that darkness is anger and that anger is usually rooted in hurt and pain and and truly it's just sadness sitting inside like i can't believe this is what happened to me and i think that's something that i had to like really sit with and then feel and forgive myself and send the shame back to the sender to the person who gave me this and made me feel so much shame and and guilt for the experiences that i experiences that i experienced so that's what i wanted to talk to you guys today if you're having a hard day or you're having triggers and emotions are coming up i want you guys to sit with yourself sit with yourself nobody else is going to sit with you in your darkness as much as you will sit in it you are in your mind 24 7 you have to learn to process those emotions now we are all on a self journey spiritual journey whatever you want to call it to each their own you know and i want you to know that it's okay to be sad at times it's okay to be mad at times process it in your own way as long as you need to however much you want to sit with it don't be afraid of it don't be scared of yourself it is okay to sit with yourself alone in your own darkness it is okay to be there and hold yourself you got to be able to hold yourself during these times because at times where something happens and there's nobody there and then you're like what do i do now well since you've been so accustomed to having everybody else around and always loudness around you you don't know how to process things on your own this 
is a time to learn how to self-soothe, self-assure. It's, it's, the, it's the best way to be self-aware and have that self-love within yourself that you don't need anybody else. Yes, it's okay to have other people there for you. It's okay to have them love you and be there. You know, that's amazing. But also know how to do it on your own as well. It's okay to learn, know how to do it with somebody, but it's also okay to know how to do it on your own as well. Both is very great. That is all I have for today. You guys have a beautiful day. Until the next video, peace.